The heat is a big story this week here in the desert. A mild spring is taking a scorching turn. Time we have first alert team. With temperatures reaching the century mark in many areas in California this week, officials are saying it's a wake up call for what to expect this summer. So we're taking advantage of what's happening naturally to also remind them that summer is coming and with summer in California, we have some pretty extreme heat. And now with advances in technology and forecasting, the National Weather Service has developed a new online tool that makes beating the heat easier. It's called Heat Risk. It puts the heat into a climatological context. It kind of tells you if this is normal heat for this time of year, if it's something that might be more susceptible to pets and sensitive groups, um, or if this is going to be something that we need to kind of sound the alarm for, for everybody, that everyone needs to be changing their behavior. We talked with a scientist who developed this tool, and Michelle Mead gave us an inside look showing how all that complex weather data is simplified in just a few clicks. You can see here we have uh, the forecast out to seven days. So you could click through each seven day to see, or each day to see how the heat risk is going to be changing. Or you can zoom in to where you're interested in. We'll do downtown Sacramento. And the seven day forecast is gonna pop up and it shows you what heat potential is each day of the week on that one point location. They call this the experimental heat risk tool and are hoping people will begin to use it when planning their outdoor activities this summer. As long as folks know the steps they need to take now, when we do get into the heart of the heat season, when those temperatures can become you know, hazardous to everybody, they'll have the tools in their toolkit to make sure they're prepared and safe, and we won't have those health and human impacts that can happen from